At the Seattle Tacoma International Airport, you'll find an elevated pedestrian walkway for the future international arrivals facility. The walkway is part of the airport's $968 million expansion and is only the second walkway in the world with suitable clearance for a Boeing 747 to taxi beneath. After nearly eight years of planning, design, and construction by the client, Mammut successfully completed the transport and lift of the nation's longest pedestrian bridge span over an active airport taxi lane, safely and without any lost time incidents. The bridge span was designed to fit up between two existing V-piers, providing connection between terminal buildings while still providing clearance for airplanes to travel underneath. From the very beginning, the crew at Mammut knew this was going to be a challenging job. Countless hours of engineering ensured that the trailers and strand jack equipment were not over capacity and all loads were properly calculated and stabilized. The challenge is we do have some tight parameters as far as the handling of this bridge, so it's imperative that we keep it level during the transport, during the lifting, everything has to be very precise for this thing to be installed correctly. Mammut also took heavy precautions to ensure utmost safety during the process. We'll have a lit up runway as we're traveling down it since this will be a night move. We have additional lighting in the rear of the convoy. We have a spill crew. We have sweepers picking up any maybe debris that might have been left behind. We have a tool truck just in case there's any kind of maintenance that we need to provide to the trailer along the way. And then we have radio communication between all members of Mammut so we can have different eyes at different points along the transport. With their specialized equipment, Mammut transported and lifted the prefabricated bridge into place. This allowed for an exponentially faster turnaround time, whereas traditional construction methods would have caused significant disruptions to the airport over a prolonged period of time. Despite the various challenges of working at an active airport, Mammut devised a suitable installation method for the 1,472-ton walkway using the Accelerated Bridge Construction, or ABC method. The walkway was transported approximately three miles using a total of 56 axle lines of SPMTs in a four-point configuration with one set of SPMTs at each corner. We have 56 lines of SPMT that are separated into four individual groups that will contact four different support locations at the bridge. All of them are linked together, so you have one operator transporting the bridge. He has one control box and all the SPMTs are linked up so that when you're making a left turn, right turn, all the wheels turn at the precise angle that you need to transport as one piece. In just under three hours, Mammut's transport team taxied the load a total of three miles down the center runway while shouldering runways remained open for incoming and outgoing planes. It is definitely a unique experience working on an active runway because you may not have ever expected to work in this type of environment. I mean, you travel all the time with your family on vacations, but you never actually look out the window and think you're going to be doing something uh, quite grand like what we're doing here. After transporting the bridge into position, it was carefully lifted using four strand jack lift assemblies. These hammerhead style tieback systems were placed on top of each V pier. Typically, in using strand jacks, both ends are supported. However, here the system was cantilevered over the empty space on either side. One of the challenges Mammut faced was ensuring the clearance between V piers was acceptable. To prepare for this, Mammut designed a tieback system consisting of hydraulic jacks and a strong back beam a newer in-house design load-bearing beam that would pull the cable anchors at the rear of each V-pier so that the opening could be adjusted to whatever requirement the client specified. These were installed at the back ends of the V-piers. This system utilized clusters of jacks and customized beams to adjust the tension of tieback strands that would increase or decrease the clearance if expected V-pier deflections did not match actual deflections. Mammut engineers had to show the client what kind of force would be put into the structure and share their hook block with them so that they can develop linkage for their bridge. With approximately one and a half inches tolerance for a precise fit, the bridge span was hoisted into its final position 22 meters from the ground before being welded into place by others. In total, the bridge was in place for approximately 36 hours while the final welds were completed. Mammut went above and beyond to ensure the structural integrity of the bridge, which was lined with glass panels that were very vulnerable to transport stresses. Not a single crack occurred in the glass panels during the jacking, transport, or lifting operations that took place, nor did any part of the fragile steel structure yield. Since the airport was still active, Mammut had a four-hour window to complete the transport and lift. 
Mamut participated in a trial run on site where the team walked the runway at SPMT travel pace, specified the intensity of runway lighting, and identified exclusion zones for travel clearances. The client also installed and constantly monitored strain gauges to monitor the stresses in the bridge during transport. With the bridge loaded on the trailer, the crew performed a test consisting of driving back and forth, a slight turn, and adjusting trailer height so the client could gather baseline data prior to the transport. Even with the four hour window, Mamut completed all tasks safely and well ahead of schedule. Overall, Mamut provided a precise adjustability to the client's pre-construction with the use of our custom tieback system, and teams professionally provided expert consultation and detailed descriptions of tasks to a team largely unfamiliar with the heavy lift industry. During the planning phase, Mamut's team from Texas made several visits to the site and aided the construction needs of the client by offering jacking support during the bridge's assembly. This project was firm fixed price and Mamut's team was flexible during the outage, providing coverage for a continuous 36 to 48 hour period while the welding was completed by the client. The installation is created at 900 feet long, the world's longest pedestrian bridge span over an active airport taxi lane. The International Arrivals Facility is now open and alongside other improvements will help double the airport's international passenger capacity to 2600 per hour. Seeing the reaction of the spectators, the client, is always rewarding on a project such as this. It's going to be nice coming back here one day, maybe planning a trip so that I actually go to the exact terminal where I can walk down there and get a look at my hand at helping this take place. This engineered, innovative plan provided and executed, as well as the attention to detail, demonstrate Mammut's ability to provide smarter, safer, and stronger solutions to achieve feats that were once considered impossible.